Okay, part two for sculpting um, the person in an abstract way. Okay, after you build the armature with regular um, silver wire, you're going to take some pieces of tin foil and you are going to wrap it around the figure to get the shape that you want. And what this foil represents is giving the legs and body and arms more dimension. So you can just kind of take it and more clear, thoroughly wrap it around. You can even like stuff more in there to make certain parts thicker. Um, this one needs a few more layers, but what it should look like in the end is a more realistic body form. Um, so for instance here, I made the chest and torso thicker. I added a bunch of foil to make the head more rounded. This is gonna be a basketball player going up for a slam dunk here. So I added a bunch of foil around this. I added um, in his arm for his, to give more definition to the hand. Um, humans have thicker quad muscles, so at the, um, quadricep and hamstring muscle area, I made that thicker. And then down here for the calf muscle, I made that thinner. So just wrap the wire around, or wrap the foil, I should say, around there. Um, if you need, you can supplement and fill in with some cardboard, tissue paper, um, even newspaper, and then wrap the newspaper in securely with the clear tape that you have at your house, okay? So that's part two if you're doing the figure, but then after that is complete, you will need to um, attach it to the base, okay? So I'm gonna just use this one as an example so you can see it a little bit more clearly. Somehow you're going to need to get it to hold here. And I'm going to encourage you to use a bit of wire and you may cut this base to any shape that you need. Um, but you're gonna poke it through and then bend it that it is kind of holding it in place and then flip it over. So you can see this part here is standing up on its own and I need to attach this here to get it to hold up on its own, okay? So my suggestion is to use the twisty tie technique. So I'm gonna place this wire around it and just twist. And if you need to add more wire to it, you can. If it's not perfectly stable right now, no worries because when you add more of the foil and eventually when we add the plaster, that's going to make it even more secure, okay? So now I've got a really nice active expressive pose here and it is standing up on its own. So make sure your sculpture can be securely attached to the base and can stand up on its own.